The project is about a purely mechanical pasta machine that is assigned to produce fresh homemade pasta, and its brand name is Pastoronix. The machine consists of 42 different components. These parts vary mainly between cutters, combs, rollers, gears, fasteners, and outer covers. Moreover, the machine is mainly made of chrome steel, but the parts which are in direct touch with the pasta sheets were chosen carefully. For instance, rollers are made of anodized aluminum alloy. In addition, cutters and combs are made of polymeric resin. Furthermore, it is provided with two different cutters, three combs and one roller in order to increase its efficiency and make it able to produce two different shapes of fresh homemade pasta. The main function of the machine is to produce two different types of pasta, which are spaghetti and fettuccine. Furthermore, each component in this machine has its function separately. First, the mode selector implements the choice of the sheet's thickness type from the user on the machine. Second, the two cutters consist of four parts, and they are responsible for the cutting process. Third, the rollers have nine levels to do their main function which is controlling the thickness of the pasta sheet. Fourth, fasteners keep the machine as one interconnected solid part. Fifth, combs are the main factor in the shaping process. Sixth, gears are the main factor of any motion that happens in the machine. Seventh, the operating handle is responsible for the main motion in the machine where it drags the pasta sheet into the cutters depending on the gears and combs. Moreover, the first study verifies that the von Mises stress in the rollers of the pasta machine was found to be zero. As a result of that, the rollers are facing a source within the acceptable range during the main operation of the machine. Furthermore, the maximum displacement observed was 8.149 times 10 to the minus 6 millimeters, which is a small deformation and does not pose a concern for the performance of the machine. Moreover, the equivalent strain was found to be zero, indicating that the rollers did not experience a significant deformation. Moreover, the results of the second stress simulation study of the machine's leg indicate that the von Mises stress on the examined part is within the acceptable range. In fact, this report shows the effect from two perspectives. First, the displacement effect has a very small effect on the leg. As a result of that, the leg is structurally stable under stress. Second, the equivalent strain values which are also acceptable for the leg show that the material is not extremely deformed under stress. Furthermore, the results of the stress simulation study of the machine's fixture indicate that the maximum von Mises stress is 6.694 E01N per square meter, which occurs at node 25602 with a value of 8.540 E plus 08N per square meter. Furthermore, it shows that 1.307 times 10 to the minus 1 millimeters is the maximum displacement which is detected at node 524. Moreover, the maximum equivalent strain is 6.947 times 10 to the minus 12, which occurs at element 30409 with a value of 1.263 times 10 to the minus 3. Moreover, the machine has a very practical design. It has an appropriate size relative to the produced function. In addition, its overall design is very modern and provides a good appearance. However, it has a problem which affects its efficiency. It is designed with only one operating handle which requires many unpacking and assembling steps in order to use all the machine's functions.